filling in and I made a dive with you into the history of VTubers. VTubing has changed a lot from its original concept over 10 years ago into the industry that we currently know it as. Back then, like any other new industry, nobody knew how to make it work and trailblazers had to figure things out on their own. And to appreciate how VTubing went from a small group of nerds LARPing as anime girls on the internet to a near infinite Pokédex of fascinating characters, let's do a little history. In 1996, with someone named Kyoku Date. The idea is for her to be a virtual idol instead of an entertainer, so not quite a VTuber as we know it today. However, the focus on idol culture carried into modern day VTubers, and even though it was cool, it didn't exactly spark a multi million fan base from the get go. Now, what really built the foundation of VTubing culture was a little someone named Hatsune Miku. When the vocalist in general ignited the passion for Japanese otaku culture in the Western world in 2009. It's a bit ironic that a virtual A kind of started it and now we have actual AI VTubers, but I'm here for it. Now, move on the timeline! For a while, virtual characters were used as representatives for Japanese companies, like Super Sonico here. They were basically anime mascots. It wasn't exactly the virtual avatar experience that we have today. Hi. Um... It all changed in 2011 when a woman named Ami Yamato came up with the idea of virtual avatar as a personal project and, in doing so, technically became the first VTuber on YouTube. Tower Bridge. But the true game changer for VTubers was a little app called FaceRig. Some creepy shit, man. Oh my god! They see me roll. FaceRig finally gave everyone an easy way to become digital avatars. It was even used by large VTubers like PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, and Giga, which brought a ton of new eyes to VTubing in the West. And while this was still 10 years ago, it set the stage of VTubers as we know them today. Oh my god! Sleeping, getting the the next step for VTubers came in 2014 with the emergence of the infamous Island. <laughs> Focus on making funny skits, Island was massively popular and greatly spread the idea of animated avatars. Island could be considered the final step before the beginning of modern VTubers. Now it's time! With VTubing finally accessible in the West, it's time to talk about the VTuber most recognized as the first real VTuber. And she wore an iconic pink headband. Yep, I'm talking about none other than the iconic big boss herself, Kazuna! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Creating her first channel in late 2016, Kazuna Eyes content was short form scripted gags. But they quickly became a cultural icon for Japan with millions of fans sent the stage for every other VTuber to follow. But up until this point, every VTuber has been 3D. Where are the 2D VTubers? Well, in 2017, a company called Needy Sanji wanted to develop a face tracking app for the iPhone 10. The first VTubers using the tech were supposed to be advertisements for the new app. However, the eight members instead became revolutionaries with millions of followers. Oops! With a massive opportunity on their hands, DJ Sandy decided to shift from short and scripted content to live streaming. They also moved away from 3D to 2D. Why? Because it was easier and cheaper. Economics. These changes were well received, and thus Niji Sanji created modern VTubing. Then came 2020, along with COVID. No one was touching grass, so everyone was watching VTubers, naturally. People started translating Hall Life clips to English, and it really popped off in the West, especially clips from one particular orange dragon. While there are English fans watching Japanese VTubers, English VTubing truly broke to the roof only when Hololive Myth came along. 
You need to give me some head pads. Yeah, that'd be nice actually. Diamond City lights illuminate what's inside and all the love. Fast forward to 2023. Now it's so many fans, some more agencies were established, some viral streamers turned to VTubing, and Niji Sanji even made male VTubers relevant in the West. Amazing. <sighs> and here we end our trip down memory lane. There's more to come, more to see, more to enjoy. And I hope all of you can stick around for the rest of the history together with me, with all of us.